I'll oh, do my for God. you. Yeah, ah. what you do for me? What ah. you do? What you do? So I want to treat you like a queen, cook and clean. I'll get your bow right better so I can rub you with Noxima. Watch your gentle I'll be when I rub your back. And at the that will That's interact LL, with right? Cognac. No, Father MC. Really? Yes. Oh. Mary J. Blige did backgrounds on that record. Oh. Yes. Man. I will do for you. Great era. Lovers, go listen to I Will Do For You by Great. Father MC. Mary J. Blige launched her. She was background singing on wow. that. Wow. Yes, Mary J. Anyway. Unbelievable record. Great record. It was record. one of the few that I, I I'm horribly, uh, I'm famous for not knowing any words. I know all songs and melodies. <laughs> I know no words. I literally make up my own words. But that song, I know every single word. Yeah, it's great. Yes, I love it. Anyway, one of the best rap songs in my opinion ever. Feels so good and is so happy. That whole era was really Oh good. my gosh, dude. Early, late 80s, early 90s for rap was sick. In my opinion, because they had hooks. Like they had great rap and they had hooks and they had just a positive energy. You know, and they made you smile. And I, well, I don't know. I mean, well, to I, me, people were also like, there was a something about being your own artist and being unique and a level of authenticity mm. that that is just doesn't exist anymore. Yes, and, because, and and there's conformity now, right? So everybody gets their like the young ears tuned and trained to a specific, you know, everything very, is Billie Eilish. Yeah, every young all female the same singer sound, sounds like Billie it's Eilish. All the same vibe. It's all the same style. Yeah. It's very. It's hard. So much rap sounds like Drake. Or at least like you know, pop. but. To culture, my mainstream music. There's a lot of really good indie music out yeah, there. Yeah, I don't know what you're talking about. And I feel like it's like a. And I want to yeah. know. I, I don't know. I just can't. My girls love it. Yeah. I just. I don't. I don't hear anything that makes me feel anything from that. Like, yeah. like the beat's okay, and I get the I get the poetry and stuff, but but I don't feel it. Like yeah. I don't feel it. You know. You know what's funny? I was I was feeling like, wow, maybe I'm like, you know, when I, when we'd hang around with our pop, our grandfather, yeah, and he would be like, the last great song I ever listened Mama's to was, the Papa's was 1958 yeah, or something. You know, his last record. He said, yeah. I stopped listening to popular music after Mamas and Papas. Yeah, I was like, Mamas and Papas, but California dreaming. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, but wait, so now when I'm after literally about maybe five to ten years ago, I just kind of drifted out from mainstream music and I started going into world music. Right. And I got into, honestly, Afro beats and all the African music and loved it, right? So cool. Loved it. Everybody made fun of me. Everybody made fun of me. And I was like, well, even the people I was dating or friends, everybody made fun of me. Like, oh, here we go again. Take yeah. Matt's eye list off. You know, you know, and Why? all that stuff, right? Yeah. And I was just thinking, uh, maybe, you know, I'm getting older and my choice of music has just, you know, evolved into something different. And I'm, a, I'm an old guy now. I don't know why people don't like Rosemary and Clooney. Then, I think she's fantastic. Three, two or three years Doris ago. Doris Day. <laughs> Wait, all of a sudden, two or three years ago, <laughs> it starts becoming all over. TikTok, yeah. Instagram starts blowing up, and now oh. everybody's like, oh, these African beats. And I'm like, yeah, I know. Now, yeah. and now, and now they're like, have you heard this? I'm like, Baba Mall. I'm like, that guy has uh, his first record 25 years ago. I don't know if hear Baba Mall, like, but are you I also kidding heard Baba me? Ran. Paul Simon, ba, 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 Paul Simon, Simon ripped it off. Went, went to Africa and, yeah. then, and then recorded one of the greatest records of all time. Yes. Uh, Graceland. Yes. So, yeah. so my point of it is actually, if you go in and actually go and research with the music that's coming out of Africa right now, they've what they're doing now is they're combining the African cultural music and the beats with pop, with more of like yeah, pop yeah. productions yeah. and more. That music, that to me is like the mecca of music right Remember now. Remember when it's we were incredible. in Australia filming the best. Uh, Jumping Ship and you found we found the Temba? Wait a minute. CDs? No. I found that CD. Yeah, I don't know who found it. We all found it. We I were together. It. Then we, Matt, I, we were then together. Matt supported we were, me we were, and convinced you that you needed to listen to it. And then you fell in love with it and liked it. It was the best music. It would have kicked ass on the soundtrack. And they didn't use it. I know. They didn't take our ideas for the scenes either. They wouldn't go to some local. Like nowadays, that would be so... They, that would be what they would do. It'd be so, yeah, we so, so critic. We wanted them to use local artists, which were so brilliant. And they were like, "No, we're gonna we're gonna soundtrack it. We're gonna do an in-house Disney guy yeah. like, that has done four thousand decoms. Yep. to do original music for this and just I use know. his library. Mm -hmm. It's like why not go the extra stride and make that Timber really record awesome. was sick. It was. I remember when it started, I swear to you, I was like, I wish I still, still had it. World music. I remember the, like, the front. Do, do, do. It was giraffes and there was like a yeah. rainbow. It was. Yep. Like, so I found it in some market. You know, it's no. We were in a in a like a, like yeah. a gift gift touristy gift, gift shop. shop. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. You know what's yeah. funny? Oh. The other record, the other well, record, the other CD I bought in there. So to this good. day, I it's like you with that one. I can see the cover and I'm so bummed that I'll never be able to find it. Was it lion? No, it was a nature, like yeah. it was Aussie uh, yeah. Outback nature sounds mixed with like Aussie instruments. Oh, you had the didgeridoo on it? It was incredible. Yeah. And I, after like, I literally, I burned the CD out. I played it yeah. so many times. Yeah. I had it on the background 12 hours a day, just in the back of the house. Just on the I looked it up on iTunes, house. it's not on there. 
I, I looked up the Tampa oh, record. It's not on. Wish there. we could find it. I know. We probably can find it online. We have to find like what it's actually called. Yeah, yeah. that's the problem. Man. I know. That was Go a long back time to, ago. to 1999. To 2000. It was well. Was, I think it was the bridge over. No, it was definitely 2000. It was 2001 because after Horse, uh, Horse Sense was 99. Yeah, it was two years after. Yeah, and we all went to Australia. Oh yeah, you're right. Remember, we were in Disney World in 2000 right, 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 for that, right, right, and then we went to 2001 and went yeah, to Australia. Right, right, right. <laughs> We traveled all over. <laughs> <laughs> Weirdo. <laughs> you know, we traveled the world, then we went to Thanksgiving, we were in France. His ego And then comes we spent out. Christmas in Gustav. Remember that, guys? <laughs> we actually did spend Christmas in Gustav, but that wasn't Saddam. because of us. Yeah, that wasn't because of us. We were actually. staying next to Saddam Hussein. <laughs> yes, we were. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. We're like, who's this guy? And He's Mr. A- Furiari. Yep. What a weird bunch. Yeah, I know. And us. And us. <laughs> Our good yeah. buddy. I know. It was so crazy back then, weird. right? I mean, no. I know. What I know. a weird What a wild, experience. what a wild Christmas. That was a wild, wild one. Yeah. Wild, wacky Christmas. Yeah, I'll never forget. Um, I was young. How old was I? Oh my gosh. You were probably like 11. Okay. I was 11 years old. I know. I remember the weird hush that came over when Saddam and yeah. his wife We didn't even know. And it was before. It was... He had moved his family there in preparation for that whole whatever right before the Gulf. Right before the Gulf War. Yeah. yeah. Nuts, dude. I know. Nuts. Yeah. Wacky. Wow. I've done over a thousand. I, every time I hear wacky, I just think of Ron Burgundy. You know, know. And he's like, <laughs> sorry. I'm sorry. I was, I, was, I was bothering you. I was working out. I'm working out of my latissimus dorsimus. I've done over a thousand. I love I've done over a thousand. It's so good. I love uh, just laughter, comedy. I love whiskey. I love brandy. I can't brandy, love it more. Brandy, do, you guys, brandy, brandy. I got a do you guys like making dramas or comedies better? Well, here's the deal. Dramas, with, but then I just put an awkward amount of comedy in it. I love. So you didn't answer my question. I personally love comedy, yeah. but I love action that has comedy. Yeah. I love Die Hard that has those mm-hmm. moments of gravity. Me too. Mm-hmm. I think it's because we probably grew up and comedy was our language. Yeah, like that's, that's our how language. we that's how we work through problems. That's how we work through issues. That's how we that's how we related to each other. Mm-hmm. I remember in the, in the heat. That's of, how we tell stories. Oh, we don't tell dramatic stories. No, we tell funny stories. Exactly. You know? And we still do. Yeah. And even in the middle of arguments, I remember we would break and somebody would quip with a joke. And it, and the, 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 the air out of that. The temperature would argument. just come right down. I know. I, know. I do that. So Look, important. You know, Sam and I do that all the time when we get into things because obviously you're always disagreeing about certain little things here or there. Things come up. We quip a joke in the middle of that moment, and we both break up. You know, like laughing, and it just, it just, you realize how silly most of the things are that you're talking about. Like. You don't need to argue about them. It's so stupid. And you in, know? in the micro, it yeah. looks serious. But when you actually pull the back macro, to the macro, it's nothing. It's this tiny little issue that, yes. that you're just literally wasting time. Yep. And you're wasting energy on being angry that you could put that energy uh, into There's no else. doubt it's about it. It's just not worth it. No. And, and honestly, again, started with the grandparents, you yep. know, and worked its way down to our parents. And yep. we continued that tradition still to this day. Yeah. That's, how we, that's how we relate. Yeah. I mean, it's all about funny moments. We Absolutely. act stuff out. We're complete idiots. But yeah. that, to idiots. me... Uh, it just self-deprecating, such, which self-deprecating. I love more than we anything. Make, we make fun of each other. Yeah. We make fun of ourselves. Yeah. That's the that's the best. Yeah, you know? And we're able to make fun of each other because we make fun of ourselves. Of course. And it's powerful. But nobody else can make nobody, fun of you. Uh-uh. You, you. Just yeah. me. You make fun of this guy, my brother. You <laughs> it's funny that, that actually happened uh, oh, yeah. on uh, the last set we were on. Yeah. I was ragging you. Mm-hmm. I, you weren't there. Yeah, I was ragging you. He was, was talking doing, behind your back. I was making Perfect. jokes about you. I was doing everything, and then the one of the producers decided to join on. I literally was like, "Ah, this guy, don't you talk about him?" I literally was. I I, I had to catch. He's my, the reason why we're all here, fucker. <laughs> I literally had to catch <laughs> myself. Oh my god, this guy. And I like tried to explain. I was like, "I can talk bad about him, but no one else can." But I'm not, <laughs> yeah, I'm not really talking bad. I'm just busting his balls. Yeah, what you said was disrespectful. Yeah, you crossed a line. <laughs> yeah, no, literally, I got into a little bit of a you thing. Crossed a line, you son of a bitch. Mm. Mm. Yeah, mm. So, ah. yeah, something about Mary. Yeah, oh, it's the greatest uh. moment in that interrogation room when yeah. they're. Oh my god! But there's nothing, how many hitchhikers? There's nothing better. I mean, because I constantly get asked, like, do you like making people cry or do you like making people laugh? And when I really honestly think about it, you see, in my personal life, I make people cry. <laughs> On film, no. I make people laugh because no. I'm a lover. No. On film, no, <laughs> not at all. No, no, I, 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 it's always going to be laughter for me. Of I course, mean, of course. I, I was telling like. Um, you know, it when you, when somebody when you have to go make somebody laugh, the camera's like usually right here. Mm-hmm. If it's physical comedy, you're still really in it. But if you want to make somebody cry, and I get, always give this example, like in Saving Private Ryan, with the proper score, and they cut to him 
a man's hand that's trembling. Right. And you know it's trembling because he's crying, but yeah. you don't see. Uh-huh. Can impact you more. Yes. Than actually cutting to the face. Right. Because sometimes the, I don't know if it does this for you, but it does this for me. Sometimes when you get like, Someone's just bawling and blubbering and snot. It takes me out snot of the moment. Snot bubbles. I like a lot I'm of like, good guy really actually, A like, lot of snot. Especially when you're an uncomfortable shoot. crier. You so know? it's like, and you're like an ugly and crier. Not, and even though there's this. This is the worst than that, you know? This is amazing. <laughs> it's like, oh my God. Just it could be this amazing like, emotional, you know, it, evoking <laughs> very, very moment. Sensitive. And it's lost me. It's lost me a little bit. It's lost me a little bit, you know? I agree. But yet, but yet, so in my opinion, and also too, I feel like, it's great. I love. I also love making movies that make people really think, and drama is a part of that. Mm-hmm. But I gotta be honest: when you can make people laugh, and you can make a theater laugh, it's so cool. I don't think there's anything greater. Being in front of live audiences that. with our training, as we did. I mean, oh, when man. I was on "Give Me a Break" and "Blossom" and "Boy Meets World" and "Brotherly Love" and all these things. I mean, dude, I, on "Blossom," I'd step out there. And when that woe thing happened, and you know, I would crush, and we'd have a two-minute laugh spread in the middle of the scene, like you're like, this is incredible. This it's, is incredible to make everybody laugh. It feels, it's like an honor. It's so good. It's it like is, an honor. It totally it's not feeling good because you're getting a no. laugh. It's like, it's like oh look my at, goodness. Look at the enjoyment that's yes. around this room right now exactly. from something that was funneled through me. Right. It wasn't me doing no. it. It's somebody else writing it. I'm playing a character to try right. to get, to right. try to create this laugh yeah. for, for you. So it's yeah. through me. It's not because of me. Do you remember when we went in the movie theater and we saw Ace Ventura? Oh my God. Okay, now this yeah, is the people brand. were rolling down they the aisles. They were falling Literally out. Literally falling out of their seats. In the aisles. Yeah. I'll never forget yeah. that. We had to go see that movie again because we didn't hear yeah, it. Yeah, you missed, I know, we no, missed We, we were laughing. Yeah, yeah. I know. We literally missed half the movie. I know. Because you're laughing so hard at some yeah. of these jokes. I just, yeah. it was almost, it was like it was like a movie being in there. These people were like, ah, ah, ah into the yeah. center aisle, you know. yeah. on the floor, laughing hysterically. And it was literally like that scene from Gremlins, except all the Gremlins were people. Yes. Popcorn's yes. flying. Yes. Yeah. And yes. Like, there was, things are being spilled. And there that was, was an incredible, incredible moment. moment. There was a incredible moment. Comedy is brilliant. Where we would go to the movies, again, this is before streamers, but yeah. we would go to the movies every week. Yeah. Every week. Family, we would all Friday and we, Saturday night. We just go Friday, Saturday night. Everything. Yeah. I mean, we were. That was the coolest time ever. Yeah. Guys. ever. I miss those. Times. We're so we blessed to we have so those years to be able yeah. to just go to the. And there was theater something about and... having to get there early and save your seat. Oh yeah. And, you know, you couldn't like reserve. I'm sorry, I'm four C. Beat it. <laughs> <laughs> yep, right here. And, these, and the movie's already started, but I don't care. Armed, order like, a armed, salad yeah, right yeah. armed guards coming to remove right, you from right, the theater. Yeah, no. This was all right, guys. You get out of the car. Listen, Dad and I are gonna go in there and save seats. You guys get in the concession stand. Give me all your sweatshirts. Right. We gotta hang them over the seats yeah. so they'll be stolen. It was so yeah, cool. Man. We're here. I'm sorry. Can you move down, please? I'm sorry. Yeah, you know what I mean? I We're know. saving these 12. You bastard. I know. And I loved it. I know. I love doing all that. I love doing no. that. And I, and, I, and I think to that point, I think, like, for us, I really feel like, you know, the tough times that we've had and those private moments that have been so tough and even the current moments that are tough, I feel like the comedy and, the, and like, and like, the brevity always get us through. It, oh, it, it's the it saving adds grace. It to the moment and then saving you get grace. through it. That is the saving grace. All those tough times. Absolutely. I don't know what we would have done. I don't know. I don't, what know, we done I don't that, know. I don't you know. know. Like, because, like I said, everyone's got their stories. People always have it worse. Some people haven't had it as bad. But we've been through our fair share of stuff. You know, we don't talk about that stuff because, mm-hmm. you know, that's just the way it is. We're private in those regards. Well, also, who goes around and, like, wants to talk about all the, the bad Unfortunately, stuff? Unfortunately, people, but not us because. You know, it happens and things happen. Those are negative people. Very negative. Well, I, you know, I think, I th- I don't know. Maybe people are going to get pretty angry at me for saying I'm this. already well, angry. I'm so- As you know, a lot Livid. of it a lot of it traces back to childhood trauma, right? We keep hearing that a lot these yeah. days, childhood yeah. trauma. And it's very yeah. true. No, it is. A lot of what you, you know, if you can get introspective about yourself and really look in, you do notice that a lot of these things, baggage, whatever it is, comes from years ago, childhood. childhood. And yeah. I get it. But I was reading a, um, uh, I don't even know what to call it, a journal about- um, The Daffy Duck wrote. I was reading a- And basically- these words on a page. Basically, it said that, you know, for your own self, this is just, just, just for you. It's not somebody telling you this is what it's got to be. You need to set for yourself, just like anything else you need to overcome. You need to set a statute of limitation for things that happened in your childhood. Because if Seven you years. allow them to continue on- and and look, you're never going to get rid of this problem, right? But it's about you know maintenance and working on yep. it to get that problem down 
to a point where you can, you can mediate it and you can keep it down. You don't yeah. have to allow yeah. it to dictate your actions right. throughout the rest of your right. life because it's really you that are becoming a complete prisoner and a slave to these yep. traumas. That's right. It's you that's that's, that's going to fight for the rest hey, of your what life. Are you, for what are you not, putting to me like that? Not bro, me. Pal? I'm just saying that you. <laughs> hey, I'm, I'm not me. Why did you think I'm my fault? Oh, I see what we're doing here. Just like always with you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Everything's my fault. You, you, you. Gang it up on me. Right. <laughs> no, no, I'm the easy target. I see. Oh, I got the perfect skin. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> what? I don't know where that came from. It's not perfect anymore. It's starting to. <laughs> starting to, oh, starting to, uh, to wither, guys. Weather and wither, as I always say, and not Bill Withers or yeah. Bill Weathers. It's just starting to be weathered and wither. I don't know. It's yeah. me angry. It's, 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 it's it. been so important in so many different situations in our lives don't where. Don't me like that, Andy. What? Putz. He's giving me the weird googly eyes. But then he's kicking the, the me the underneath the table. He so was looking at you and he's like. He was kicking me the other day when we were sitting at dinner. He was kicking me. What are you kicking me guys. for? Hey, hey, hey. Save you hey, from hey, yourself. Hey, 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 knock it off. What are you kicking me for, huh? You I'm sound insane. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. You look insane. Look, he, I'm over there. He's smoldering to me. You know, he does his thing. You know, yeah. Yes. That's it. That's it. Hey, Joe. I have a. This morning. Oh, God. What are you doing this? I'm furious. Okay, Andy and I, Andy and I live together. Boxes everywhere. Like uh, boxes. We live and, uh, boxes. And uh, I hate he, stuff. And I he, just, I and hate. Andy wakes up. You love no, you love organization. And he you have stuff. And he Lots quickly and he very quickly, quickly turns the morning quickly turns into a disaster. Yeah, I know. Things are flying everywhere. And just as we're about to leave, to Andy come has here, a Andy has a little container. And he's good from here to here. The problem is the container's just, when he gets here, that little container, he's done. He's done. I'm done with these Christmas boxes. I'm done with all this flummage everywhere. And, uh, yeah, I can't no. hear it. Ah, Disorder. Ah, so we literally. What is this? It's a, it's a picture of our grandparents. It's gone. I can't handle it. I, I get, What's it doing on the table? <laughs> it's been there for 20 years. <laughs> I get I get like blurred vision. Oh and, my God. And, and hot, hot flashes. And I have to. Just I forget remove, who I am and I piss my pants. Remove, That's how mad I get. And then I wake up in a field. Old, naked and <laughs> now, that was only that one time you called me joe where am i help me i'm in a field after a full wow, moon i don't know what to do buddy what's the field look like there's trees uh, i'm like that's gonna be anywhere <laughs> <laughs> i know but you're right he does hit that no and then and then, and then we were we were literally we needed to leave that minute yeah to be here on time and yeah. i'm not kidding he walks out with his uh, dog shmi in a harness uh, he's oh, got the God. leash he's like what well, i gotta take my dog for a walk yeah. this is ridiculous <laughs> I can't even take my dog for a walk. Yeah. What is Andy? I'm like, oh, oh Andy, you've been up for three hours. <laughs> I have. I was. I had to cook him. I don't know where the morning went. I, I made lamb. I did. And then I, I made him I lamb. I made some more lamb and put it away for tomorrow. I and Andy, maybe you should have done that one. I had to meal prep. Well, in uh, in retrospective, you're, you're probably right. I probably should Honestly, have cooking lamb for the next week. Cooking I should have my, all the lamb. my dog breakfast big lamb. every day is 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 cool. Like a sheep, actually. Yeah. I don't even know. It's a lot. The funny thing is, is Andy's like, look at all these dishes. They're everywhere. And I'm like, well, nobody else is cooking three square meals a day for their dog in this house. I wonder where all Who these the pots and pans are coming from. Who cooked broccoli? <laughs> no. You did, Andy. He doesn't eat broccoli. Right, I did. Broccoli's not walk good. walk into this house. It smells like fish. Yeah. It's disgusting. Yeah. You've been cooking fish. I'm like, Andy, you've been cooking. Nobody else in the cooked. trash can, there's a giant skeleton of a salmon oh! in there. I'm yeah. like, yeah. Oh this God. has to go outside, I buddy. never complain about the house smelling like meat or fish because I know that it's I never get complain about the house smelling like me <laughs> yeah ever. exactly but oh, when somebody God. else cooks it's awful <laughs> also I do things like open up windows when I'm cooking smelly That's dishes or turn on the fans yes. no he doesn't oh yeah I do. no I have, he hot boxes just, the kitchen what he doesn't realize no. is the way here's the best part no, so when you hot box the kitchen no, yeah. and then if the air or the heat comes on oh, it sucks and pumps oh, that the into the bedroom yeah, oh yeah for sure so now you're in the bedroom and you're like ah just turn to relax <laughs> smells like damn fish in here it's the worst. Oh, God. I so know good. what Shmi's eating yeah. for breakfast. I was trying to watch a movie with a, a female yeah. friend of mine. Before I know it, it smells like the damn deep sea. <laughs> it's like a fish awful. market. I'm sorry. It smells like an aquarium in here, sweetheart. Uh, awful. Yep. That's horrible. Awful. Well, that is horrible. Yeah, it's, you know, yeah. take some, lose some. Takes a village. <laughs> that's always takes like, village. that's always the expression. Doesn't mom always say that? And 90% and, and of the time, I hate that expression. It doesn't even make sense. It's not even applicable. Well, it takes a village. Sure it does. To go to the market? No, it doesn't. We just <laughs> needed some pine nuts. That's all we... Takes a village. Makes no sense. 
You could have gone to the market and just gotten the pine nuts. We didn't. I don't need a village to do that. That's one person. <laughs> I think what she's saying is, it takes a village. You should have picked up the pine nuts That's on right. the way of over. Of course, it takes a village. And don't you hate it when people just argue with the same thing? They have nothing else. They have that I one know. sentence. So you're like, really? I'm telling you how I feel about this. It takes a village. How could you say that to me? I've been drugging. I've been slugging my ass all over this place, cleaning up the house. It takes a village. You say it takes a village. One more. It takes a village, and then they leave. What a simple argument. What an amazing person that could just have one sentence that they argue with. Yeah. You don't have to come up with other things. You'll never lose your train of thought. You know what? You're going to win that argument. It does take a village. You know what a great expression is? And, and, and someone, it was, it, was, it was a saying, and I forget who said it, but I think it was, might have been Mark Twain. I don't know. Don't quote me on that. I think it was. <laughs> Hold on. Wait a minute. Might have been. He said, never argue with stupid people because they will suck you down to their level and then beat the shit out of you. And he's absolutely right. Sounds like Mark Twain. Nah, not the shit part. I added that. I added there's, a little there's another one too. Don't invite I, a jester into the palace because the jester will never become a king, but the palace will become a circus. Oh, I like it. Mm. Oh, ba -bum -bum -bum. Dropping some dice. Yeah, we are, buddy. So yeah. yes, I do cook fish for me often. At least we can laugh about it, right? <laughs> <laughs> At least I cook. Matt doesn't cook. He just orders Not recently. food. No. Every meal. Every meal? Every what? meal. Do you want to know why? Trash. It's easy. Well, no, it's, it's containers. Convenient. It's, I don't want to deal with yeah. when if I happen to miss oh, a yeah. fork, I'll be the reason oh. for all the mess. So you oh. know what I've done? Right. I've you decided to do a little reverse mess. psychology. Oh. No. No mess. He's I just, orders. I don't do consumer. a thing in the right. kitchen. Nice. Nothing. He's a consumer. Right. And I still clean up, but yet when I don't clean no up, way. then everything's, why is this such a no mess? Way. I'm like, well, I'm only cleaning up your there's stuff, I've been door dashing for 433 yeah, days. There's, <laughs> yeah, exactly. This ain't much. It's, it's true. It's, it's terrible, terrible. And there's, actually. And there's, yeah, it's terrible. I've gotten $293 worth of food, and I only paid ten grand for it. Yep, exactly. <laughs> like a smoothie? Wait a minute, what is this 48 smoothie? bucks. Right, right, right. Oh, right. oh what, like, inflation? Oh, my gosh. What is this inflation on his smoothies. It, you know? Curb meter parking? What? Yeah. He just orders food all the no, time. No, if, if Andy and I didn't keep, you know, make jokes, yeah. we would probably, we they'd find us in a, in a dual strangle. We both killed each other. Of course. No, and I know that. Look, guys, we could be in the most intense, heated arguments, and literally two minutes later, we forget about that shit, yeah, and we're yeah. joking. Yeah. Well, we're down one of our, our, our mole holes. I don't forget about anything. Our rants. Uh, I forget. Sometimes I, I hold on to things. Humor. I'll hold on to it for at least a good 15, 20. Yeah. And then Years. you guys will crack a joke and I'll have to laugh. Yeah, I and know. I'll forget about I it. I know, I know. Usually happens that What way. about you, putz? There's only a few everything. little He's things. smoldering over there again. I know. He's always He's in a smoldering his, mood today. I'm telling you, he woke up on the wrong side of the bed. <clears throat> yeah. There's shit everywhere in my house. That's why. Why? Meal con containers from it's last like night's door order dinner. Oh. No. Yeah, no. Little shit. No, you know what they are? I'll take pictures. You know what they are? They're leftovers from Thanksgiving. No, Ew, I yes. actually no no no. Ew, in yes. fact, in Eight fact, months ago. Yeah. In fact, I Disgusting. cleaned out the whole fridge and recycled <laughs> everybody's fries? leftovers. Wow, that's funny. And did those dishes? I as wasn't well. in town for Thanksgiving. All the oh. all the leftovers that were saved for him. Wow, save them and clean them out. That's funny because uh, we're almost close to the next still Thanksgiving. Still in my fridge. This, no. this past Thanksgiving, maybe we should talk about. New I had to get my own fridge. Oh, you got your oh own yeah, fridge. I had to get my own fridge because he's because he has bugs. I had to get my own bedroom. Matt feeds lettuce <laughs> and bugs. Go before I was in his room. Yeah. Oh, that's <laughs> weird. That like, exactly. And you know what I do? I had to get my own bathroom. <laughs> Where were you before? In his bathroom. Yeah. You guys are really close. I had no idea. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and and I had to get my own toothbrush. <laughs> this <laughs> asshole over my here. My own underwear. <laughs> my own. Clothes. Oh my god! Yeah, exactly. You guys are disgusting. Exactly. I had no idea you guys were so close. Yeah. Whose sock is this? Must be ours. <laughs> oh, this, oh, God. <laughs> These aren't my underwear. I'm wearing a left shoe. Matt's wearing a right, right shoe. Look at this. I never... <laughs> it's like, you know, like no other, yeah. Oh, my God. That's Good. so funny. Yeah. That's so funny, guys. No, I, I, I'm I, actually so thankful. I, I always say it all the time. Because how many times do we, do we quote pop up? I mean, oh all the time. Gosh. All the time. All the time. You know? Yeah. I mean, he was... Those jokes, obviously, from a different generation, but it was just so funny to hear him say. I was like... You know, I remember even asking Pop about, you know, like, I'm so... When I found out about sex and I found out, I, I, I started saying, wait a minute, everybody has this? Okay. And, you know, I remember telling dad, I was like, everybody has this sex stuff? He's like, yeah, we have. I was like, you and mom? He's like, yeah. I'm like, meme and pop? He's like, yeah, they have sex. I'm like, the whole world? He's like, everybody's having it. I'm like, oh my God, this is crazy. You know, when they show <laughs> you that book, having... Where Do I Come From? Yeah. Lovers, oh, yeah. if you want a, a fun kick, actually, check out a book. Not, it's funny. I don't know check about out a, that. Shut up. It's a little weird. It's called Where Do I Come it's From? It's an old school, cartoons. weird cartoony book teaching about the birds and the bees. It's one of the it's wildest, funny. funniest things ever. Yeah. We were taught book. this seriously. 
Like this is what my dad used is like the yeah. talk about sex Bible. Hey son, look at these two weird characters. It's like Simpsons naked yeah. having sex. You're like, what is it? Yeah, doing? it's very strange. Anyway, Homer it's hilarious. Simpsons where do I come from, lovers? Look at so you can get it on Amazon or anywhere. Let us know how you feel about it. All right. One of these days we're gonna bring it in here and put it up on our bookshelf. I don't think it is available. Yet. It is, of they, course, available. They where do I, maybe them? they've outlawed. They burned it. all oh. the copies and took oh, it well, out. It's of a kid's book. Production. It's right not next a to kid's Dr. Book. Seuss. Anyway, I'm looking so, it up. And you remember? You remember when I said so? I went to Pop and I was like, Hey, Pop. He's like, Hey, Pop. You know, I just learned about about you know uh, making love and, and and sex and everything and like you know how birds and bees and how uh, and babies are made. And he goes, Oh, that's very interesting. I was like, So you and me, uh, you and me. You and me do this? And he goes, Joey, I'm going to be honest with you. Uh, I bumped into your grandmother in the hallway one night. And uh, <laughs> I had your uncle out. And one other time, I, mistake, I mistook your grandmother for the toilet. And uh, I swear to God, he said, and I had your mother. That's it. That's the only time it ever happened. Like that. That's it. <laughs> he leaves. I swear to God. I was like 11. I was, uh, <laughs> you bumped so into your grandmother one night and uh, I had your and I mistook your grandmother uh, one other time for her a toilet. And I oh, did. Yes. <laughs> I know. I know. So uh, it just goes to show you, like, he's always like, oh, look at this beauty over here. Look yeah, at this beautiful yeah, yeah. woman over here. Look at that. She's lucky she's beautiful. I mean, you know, <laughs> just, it, it was so, oh, Harry. You know, uh, yeah. Harry. They, were, they were a sitcom. Oh, my God. They were literally. Uh, there was an walking. old series, and and if you don't know what it what it what it is, I implore you to look it up because although look every generation, <clears throat> you know, popular vernacular situations change, right? And we've evolved, and we're a lot more sophisticated now, and things are better. But if you if you look back at classic dynamics from generations in the past, there's an old series um, called All in the Family, mm. and Archie and Edith Bunker were were iconic characters before we were born. It was in the 70s. Like, you know, before we knew what TV was, yeah. you know. Um, and But looking back, it, their their relationship was unbelievable. They would always bicker. Yeah. They always. But if you exactly, made fun of either right. one of them or, or got, done. oh, it was over. Done, so, like, yeah. my pop and my and my, my, my meme could, could bicker. And they quarreled. Uh, yeah. uh, too much butter. Yeah. You want to make the pasta? I put... Uh, Ed, 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 that, 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 there's too much butter, you know? So they would argue like like that, but if you were disrespectful to my Mimi, oh, yeah, you're you done. caught fire. One yeah. word of disrespect to my yep. Mimi, you're done. But I loved that they would have this banter mm -hmm. and they would constantly in the middle of quarrels, because we had dinner with them, what, mm -hmm. five nights a week. They would always be cooking for us and stuff. It was so cool. And they would be bickering mm -hmm. and arguing. But in the middle of it, he would say something. And again, I missed a lot of it because I was a kid. So he'd whisper something and she'd start laughing and he'd laugh and then they'd bump each other. Mm -hmm. That's that was it, man. amazing That moments. was it, man. That was it. Those moments save lives. They save relationships. Oh, this one. This one. Oh. I mean, yep. Yep. I mean, just, Ed, let me let me do the jokes, okay? Let me just stick to the jokes here. You do that, I do this. It would be great. You know, I mean, he was, I just miss that so much. I miss that. Yeah. You got it, baby. You know? Yeah, I mean, that, that was, was awesome. the wink and the point. And, yeah. You know, it was just uh, everything was a joke. Oh, everything yeah. was a joke. I know. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. You remember yeah, that? Yeah. We we got frisky, as my pop would call it. We try to get physical with him. He was a super tough dude. You know, yeah. World War Two, and <clears throat> he was really strong. Yeah. And his hands were like, yeah. were like, were like literally like cast iron. Yeah. yeah. So so we'd be like, hey, pop, and he'd come up to him, he'd give him a little dead arm. He'd be like, all right, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, cool. Remember that? Yeah, oh yeah, my yeah, god. Yeah. He, and he'd take his. He take this these 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 two fingers. The pincers. He had the pincers. Yeah. And he gets you on your knee out of nowhere, <laughs> and you would literally be like, "Go!" Oh! He'd make grown men to, it to was their so knees. So painful. Oh, yeah. these two seconds. Ah! It was almost so painful that at a point in my life, I really didn't like it. Like it was really irritating. <laughs> it was like, oh no! Oh, and when you were Not young, again. if you walked no. too close by yes, him, yes. and he was watching TV, yeah. yes, yes, he would snatch you up, get you in a, in a in a lock, lock yeah. yes, and, and and make you beg to get yeah. re yes. released. It was no. so, it was so great. It was yeah, always great. quipping jokes, yeah. always making fun of everything. You know, it's like that we laughed. I mean, how much did we laugh? Oh God! Yeah, we so would sit much. around our dinner tables and just laugh. And just laugh. Yeah. yeah. Like it was all about who could come up with the best one liner. Yes. Who, yes. who kept the the comedy rolling? Oh my gosh! Good oh good training God. actually. It was great training. It, it was, was like every training. night you had to be ready. I mean, that you was guys our, keep talking about this training like we went to some Jedi Night School of comedy. Yeah, what do you? We're, uh, we're comedy uh, Jedi's. Good training. <laughs> you know what's funny? Bringing it back to the birds and the bees stuff. Yeah. So dad came to me with the same book. Of course he did. It's not available on no, look, Amazon. This I worked. He literally, he literally came. Like a charm. He, he, I'll never forget it. I was on, on the way to school. Joey's 20 and still. Now I was young. Like a charm. <laughs> I was young. Maybe first or second grade. Okay. 
And he comes they, up they, to me. They, they, like, they jumped in a little earlier with you, huh? Earlier with me. I think this one could be a problem. Bring out the book. Yeah. So he gave me he's like, Matt, um, we're gonna have a very interesting discussion on the way to school today. And I was thinking, oh boy, what is it gonna be this time? I have yeah. to do flashcards or right. tell him what you know four plus seven equals. I don't know what was coming next. Yeah. He's like, so I it's eleven. Brought this little book along. <laughs> Here you go. Start on page one. Now I'm driving. Oh my god! I want you to go through the book, and we're going to talk about every page. Oh my god! I start opening it up, and I'm literally like, "Yeah, Dad, it's a book about sex." And he was like, "What? How do you know?" Oh my that? god! Oh my god! I was like, "Dad, <clears throat> you know, I watch PBS. I've seen the elephants mating. I know where babies come from." Oh my god! He was like, "Give me that." I guess, <laughs> I guess I should have jumped on you a few early years <laughs> earlier. <laughs> so you remember, Dad? Oh god! Yeah. Oh god! My dad was teaching. My parents had a real conundrum because I didn't get the book. I got the uh, the original species movie. Yes, <laughs> that was my introduction That's to. What happened? He's like, I didn't get the book. What if Andy was like, I didn't get the book? I just got laid. What? Yeah. Dude, it's yeah. disgusting. Yeah. I knew all about the bees. I just had yeah. this wonderful lady from yeah. Abington, PA. Oh Ooh. God, took me under her wing. Oh God, <laughs> she was a nice old gal. What? <laughs> Well, when you're 14 was, and she's 28, she is a nice Your name is yeah. Betty. <laughs> Your name is Betty. Oh, my God. That's so weird. No, um, do you remember? I remember Matt and I. Maybe that's illegal. Matt and I, we would have, uh, we, you know, I guess there was a period of time after we had we been, have, uh, after we had been, we after we had been, uh, you know, going to the bathroom potty train that we would, you know, go number two in there and we'd be, we'd be going through the TP like, like it was oh. just like we, it was, we were manufacturing it and Matt would just. I'll never forget. <laughs> he'd have a roll. It was like a it was like a boxing glove, and he'd be like, "Uh huh, one wipe in the toilet." <laughs> so we were clogging up toilets. I mean, we were like, "You guys did we clog were, up." Oh, I mean, this, oh, but this wasn't just clogging. This was also a financial constraint. Yeah, as well. it was. But we but, were spending but the hundreds clogs, of I remember thousands my dad of going, dollars on toilet paper. God, I'm kidding. Bless this damn toilet. Yeah. He's going. He's like, guys, and he's like, "Oh my god, oh my god, how much friggin' toilet paper?" Oh, he was pulling out. Yeah, this I know. Okay, okay, know. in here. So we get that and he's like, here's the deal, guys. <laughs> so he'd take a piece. I swear it to God, it's three paper. of the, Wait, the, the, the normal piece. Yeah, so it's probably this big. All right, maybe, 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 maybe this, this big. It's way too little. It was this. This is, this is like rationing three, out. It was three here. squares, okay? Yeah. And he'd go like this now. See this piece of toilet paper? Let me just show you something. And I have a man's butt, okay? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a man's butt. Now watch, now watch this. Yeah. And he wouldn't actually wipe it. He's now, here's the deal. I've just gone to the bathroom. I have poop in my butt, okay? I'm going to wipe. Check this out. Now I go like this, right? Now the poop is gonna be right here. What do I what do I do? Do I put this in the toilet? No. I go like this. I fold. I fold. I fold. Now wait a minute. <laughs> I'll like wipe this. and fold. Now what do I do like this? Wipe and yes, fold. I fold. Third wait, fold. Now I go like this. Wait, now look at this. He, he got he got it's thinking, clean. He, yeah. got, he, he would go down to Yeah, like, you're thinking there is no way I could fold this again. Uh, but check this out, Joey. I can fold it again. <laughs> I, I, he'd be literally wipe I'd be and like, fold, wipe and how fold. the hell? Wipe and fold. What is this one gonna do? What is that gonna do? I swear to God, I'd be like, that is what I wanna see in this toilet. If one of these toilets I remember. Uh, it clogged by you and Matt it's again, true. you're plunging it. True. And I just remember Matt and I going, what the hell are we doing? <laughs> and, at, and at any rate, this this piece of toilet paper would get down to, I swear to God, Matt, what was it? I, an inch? Yeah, Might it was have been like an inch. It was, it was like a very thick square. I couldn't inch. even put it between my pointer and my thumb. It I was know. like, what am I going to do with this little square of paper? It was a thimble. Well, of I paper. really, I really yeah. had to develop the technique to follow through with it because, oh, yeah. I mean, it wound up on my thumb all oh, the time. Oh, oh, oh my god! Yeah, get out oh, of here! Oh, oh yeah, because no, it did. Get out of here. you yeah, got the I'm little done. square. I'm yeah, I'm you're like between your so your weird. index and your thumb. Yeah, and you go to wipe again. Oh, it's everywhere. This is a blue conversation. You got what I used to call poop palm. That's what you get. Poop palm. You get it all the time. It's like gray poop palm. Gray poop palm. Poop, poop palm. Yeah. Right. Excuse me. Could you pass the you gray poop palm? Really stupid. <laughs> That's a good one. I like that. Oh, poop God. palm, baby. Yeah. It's like yeah. Uh, yeah. I like yeah, that. Yeah, I know. Somebody put me back in the fridge. <laughs> yep. So then well, I came up with my own technique. from Demolition Man. Yes, it is. I came up with my own technique. You well, want to hear guys, it? We, Still use it to this we day. Don't need what to... is it? Tell us your poop technique. In, in okay. case anybody's curious how Matt wipes his ass, Matt. So yeah, <laughs> we have three squares. Okay. I don't wait. Use, what are the three squares for? Wait, okay. I don't use all three in the windup. I split one off. Nice. I use the two for dry and Ooh. the one for wet. Hmm. And then I'll maybe I'll go to the sink and I'll wet one. You I'll dampen put... toilet paper? Yes. Wait, how does it not disintegrate though? It must be pretty Rocher good quality. It's your about ass. the amount. What is yes, wrong with you? Right, it can go there, wow. and it has. But it's about the amount of water. On that little, what? Oh. you just put a little drop in the center, and it spreads out, Ooh. and doesn't create that that, that mesh. Yeah, otherwise you're creating like 
No. Weird paper mache. Well, no, it can get really bad. Pancake batter no, to wipe really your bad. ass. Hey, look at this. There's, I made a goose. There's, no, you got you to be careful with the amount of water what you about, use because then you can get it all have you ever, stuck in all You know what I do is I just there. use baby wipes. I was just going to say, have you ever heard of wipes? Yeah, but yeah. that stuff, that, by the way, no, you they be have, flushing. No, they have ones that yeah, are you shouldn't that be flushing approved by that. plumbers. It says it on the package. Wait a minute, wait a minute. A little bit of water. Whoa, wait a minute. Never did anything wrong. Wait a minute, but you got to make sure you dry afterwards, guys. Because the worst thing you want dry. is a so moist So that's why asshole. I just used a little hand yeah. towel next to you the sink. You know why? You know, the one that's there for all the guests. <laughs> you know why? Because you can get an infection. You, you want to dry it. clean by this point. How does he know he gets it. an infection from using damn toilet paper know. to wipe his butt? Because I've, I've left some things. I, I've, I've, I've left a few pieces up there and for it's, weeks at a time. It's not good. It, it, cal 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 Calcify. What is it? Cal what is it? I don't know. Calcifies. Man. Calcifies. Yes. No. Calcifies. Yeah. It's a cacophony of no, calcification. Like, exactly. <laughs> it's not coagulation. A concoction of calcification. Nah. All right. In your caucus. Uh, yeah. Oh. All right. Hey. All right. We have so, a guest. We have a in. guest. Can Guys, I just say that I use the three seashells? This is Joe's favorite part of the episode, in case he didn't say it. I do use the seashells. Sorry. Three go ahead. shells. Another demolition. Right? I love demolition. demolition uh, lovers, go out there and download watch. or watch an old movie called Demolition, demolition Man. Man. It's actually pretty enjoyable. Written by Peter Lankoff. And then, and then shout we out to all by Peter Lankoff. Peter, we yep. will all take you to Taco Bell. Ooh, we will. You actually, it's a pretty great cast. Means. Sylvester Stallone, Wesley oh. Snipes, Dennis Leary. Here we go. Pretty great. Anyway, watch it. Demolition Man lovers. I recommend it. It's a real fun sort of rock into a old school futuristic movie, but a lot of that stuff panned out to be kind of true. My brothers yeah, are insane. Always does. Welcome, Megan. <clears throat> Megan, how hey. are you? How you doing? Good. How are you guys doing? This is quickly becoming our favorite part of the show. We get to check in with, you know, um, fans or people that have stories to tell themselves. And obviously, you know, this whole podcast is about just family and stuff and things that we go through. And, um, you know, we, we love to hear from other people and sort of just, uh, you know, hear what they're going through, what they have to say. And then we, and then we just, we, we gab about it for a few minutes and, uh, but it's nice to hear other people and what they're going through too, you know? So share your story with us, Megan. All right. So my story is basically a time I went on a cruise with my mom and my brother. Okay. So we were sharing a cabin. It was a pretty decent sized cabin. There was a kitchen and a little living room, sofa bed pullout situation and then a queen bed that had a curtain to separate for privacy. So wow. my mom was going to take the queen bed. My brother and I were going to share the sofa bed. So we all went to dinner. Sweet. After dinner, we went out to the pool deck where they had a DJ and a bar area set up. My mom left us at some point. My brother and I continued to hang out, have a couple drinks, as you do when you were in your 20s. So then I realized at some point my brother was a little overserved. So I look over and see him in the middle of a dance floor with his two shot glasses that on cruise ships, sometimes when you order shots, they'll give you these souvenir glasses. Wow. So he had one in each hand, was dancing by himself, kind of looking like an idiot. So of course I don't leave him hanging. I go out and join him. Aww, then he proceeds there you go, well done. To, yeah, I'm a, I'm a good sister. So he then proceeds to drop the shot glass and then drop the other one. So the waiter comes over to help pick it up with us. And then he orders another one, which they did give him. He then drops that one. So I try to have his back and defend him. And I'm explaining to the bartender, look, it's not his fault. He keeps dropping them. He's trying to dance. This girl keeps bumping into him. And that's why he's dropping them. Perfect. Little did they know I was the girl. So they did bring him a new one. Oh my God. He ended up going back to the cabin. I stayed with friends out for a little bit longer. My mom at this point was still awake and reading a book. She sees my brother bolt in like a bowl in a china shop. He looks at her. She looks at him. She realizes I'm not with him and asks, hey, where's your sister? To which my brother, in all seriousness, responded, what's it to you? <laughs> my mom then realized what level of stupid he was on, yeah. so just kind of ignored him. He walks over to the sofa bed, pull out, fully clothed, face plants widthwise across the bed. Oh, my mom kind of yeah. looks at him, sees if he's going to move. He doesn't. She realizes that's going to be an issue when I come back since we're supposed to be sharing this sofa bed pullout thing. Oh my God. So oh. she tries to move him, doesn't work. She says, screw it. I'm going to let Megan deal with it when I get back. Perfect. So Perfect. when I came back up, I was trying to be quiet. I didn't want to wake anybody. I realized now my mom was pretending to be sleeping because she wanted to see how this was going to play out. That's great. So I walk over to the sofa bed. I'm staring at my brother. I'm like, what the hell? So I try to physically move him. He's bigger than me, so that doesn't work. I then just keep nudging him, asking him, like, please move over. Can you just move over? After about five minutes, I kind of gave up and decided can't beat him, join him. So I end up grabbing a blanket and just laying widthwise across the bed. 
The next morning, he woke up to no recollection of any of this. Wow. So it has now been an ongoing joke in our family that we relentlessly tease him about. Anytime he asks us a question, now we typically respond with, what's it to you? That's and awesome. I don't know, maybe, maybe you had to be there, but I still thinking about it 10 years later is really funny. That's yeah. amazing. so cool. That is so cool. You know, we've actually been talking this whole episode about comedy and about those moments and about how when you can share those moments of comedy and make a joke and laugh, even during yeah. the difficult of times, you know, for people, that is what, that is what gets you through. Like that's the saving grace is even in those moments where you could have been pissed, you could have been really angry and yes. it could have been actually a moment that you recollect and say, remember when you ruined the night or when, remember when you were such a jerk and you wouldn't move. But the fact that what you guys remember and what became the centerpiece of that story is what's it to you and you guys can laugh about that and yeah. you smile that's what it is because life isn't perfect and life is a mess and life is not what you think and all these unexpected turns, right? You set out this great plan and then you come home and you're already sharing a bed. Now you have to share a bed with this with this Neanderthal that's with way across, you know? And all yes. that could have been just a moment of, you know, um, anger, you know what I mean? And instead it, it was it was a moment of, of like happiness. And that's what we were just talking yeah, about. We go so through all important. this stuff and as long as we can joke about it and laugh about it, we remember the jokes, we remember yeah. the laughs. Yeah. And you don't yeah. remember the stuff that makes you angry, you know? Yeah. It's funny to too, we point, have a, um, Go ahead. I was just gonna say, so this cruise that we went on, my dad had passed away in 2008. So it was mm. kind of like our family, my mom, my brother and I all trying to do something together. Yeah. So it's definitely one of those things yeah. that we're like, well, if that's the worst that's happening, is him laying in the bed, there's bigger fish to fry, so. Yeah, for absolutely, sure. absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. And those moments, yeah, those moments of being able to recall those moments and having fun and smiling at them all those years later, that's what that's what life's all, all about. Absolutely. It's true. That's we're, what we were sitting here talking about our grandfather and he passed away, <clears throat> what was it, uh, about six years ago now? Eight. 2016, six. 16. Six? 16, okay. yeah, six. But he was the centerpiece of our family. Our mom and pop both were, and she passed away a few years earlier. But, um, and you know, even at the end, it was obviously very sad and everything. But we're sitting here laughing at all the stuff that we shared. That you know, the the funny moments, the one liners, and it's the same thing. You yeah. know, that's that's what you want to remember are those moments. You, you know, know, it's funny we have in our family now. He's an extended brother because he's not necessarily by you know genetic re relation, but he he has become a brother in our lives. We have a, a very similar story where <clears throat> actually my parents were going through some some tough stuff and we were on a family vacation. Mm -hmm. And uh, my best friend, who then, like I say, is part of the family now. Yep. He, Shawzy. same kind of a thing. Shawzy. Shawzy. We, we name him. We my pop. Him. Pop up. That's right. Our grandfather well, coined him because his name the conundrum, is Andy. The conundrum is we'd go on family vacations and my name's Andy and his name's Andy. His middle name is James and I'm James as well. So Andy, AJ, all and that. And his last work. name was Shaw. Which is, and my mother's maiden name, our grandparents were Harry and Edna Shaw. So, so it, was it wild. became so, like we couldn't, we didn't know what, what to call, to call him, him. So my so grandfather coined Shawzy. it Shawzy. Yeah. Right. Which then just became Z. Right. And now he's known as Z. Z. But yeah. the point of all this is that it's, it's very odd how similar our stories were. There was a, a bunch of serious stuff going on. Yeah. And he's out there and he's drinking and he's breaking glasses. I, I think Matt, Matt and Sean got into a little bit of mischief and had a little bit yeah. too much drink. And they were like 18, 19. I yeah. mean, it was safe because we were on a family vacation. But we shouldn't have been doing that. But they shouldn't have been sure. drinking, and, right? And my dad comes over to my buddy, Shawzy, like, and goes, hey, maybe you shouldn't settle be down, drinking. You two. Yeah. And he turned him and goes, what the heck do you know? And yeah. continued to drink, you know? Like I said, it's not necessarily funny to anybody else, I actually, but to I, us. I, I, believe, no. I believe we're still laughing about it 15, 20 I, years later. I believe, excuse my French, but what made it so crazy was that he was an eight, he was like a young teenage yeah. guy, and he turns to my dad and he goes, What the fuck do you know? Yeah, it yes, wasn't that he said word. that but, in front of but, the whole but he was also an yeah. extremely respectful, really reserved polite guy. Kid. Like never, never had a so ever out heard. of character. Yeah. And, and he, he said it funny. Yeah. Like he didn't he wasn't being there was yeah. no, no animals. No, he was like what the um, fuck what do you know? Yeah, yeah, like that, yeah, you know, it wasn't yeah, with animus. It yeah, was just, yeah. it was almost like, what a and yeah. I just remember my dad, he was so shocked. He was so shocked. He couldn't even, like, he couldn't say anything. He was just like bewildered and he dumbfounded. He started laughing. And the point yeah, is, is that kid, just, it kind of yeah. saved the whole trip because from that point forward, we were laughing about that. I mean, we weren't talking about the serious stuff yeah, exactly. that was going on. And to this, 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 day, this kid is the same, just a little bit of backstory. The same, on the same trip, a, a, we were eating outside and a cockroach flew <laughs> into his spaghetti. And he's such a polite boy that he was like, it's okay, we could just 
Find it, I'll still eat the spaghetti. It burrowed in this. And it was like, what are you, yeah. This so, massive cockroach flew super in. polite kid. And then he was like, really there nice guy. It went, yeah. And it was burrowing itself deep in the pasta. I, was yeah. like, I don't know where it went. It was yeah. in there. And he was still it. willing to eat it. Yeah, he's like, but crazy. I'll still eat it if we can just remove it. Or I'll <laughs> so eat it was around quite it. out of character. Yeah, so and for him very to go, funny. what the F do you know to my dad was like, what the heck? So how are you guys doing now? You good? You still close with your brother and your mom and everybody's good? I am. I unfortunately live. A little bit further from mm. them. I'm in LA and they're in Florida. Gotcha. But I get back as much as I can. I was there last week and I'm going back in another two weeks uh, cool. over what Christmas. What part of uh, Florida? So they live in Sarasota. Nice. Nice. I love Florida. I do too. That's where our, gran Florida. our grandparents were there. Our, our grandparents for a long time. Re retired to St. Pete Beach. So we went down there all Oh, time. I actually went to um, uh, high school in St. Pete and then oh, I went to UCF really? in Orlando for college. But, Ooh, yeah. that's awesome. St. Pete Beach is so cool, yeah. man. It's so nice. It's the best beach, honestly. It so it's nice. nothing compared to our beaches here in LA. Oh, I'm like, first of all, the beaches in LA suck. Yeah. <laughs> I'll just be the one to yeah, say that. The sand's disgusting. It is, I like the baby powder. It's nasty. Sand. There's those kelp bugs that fly everywhere. There's shells. People There's spend dead millions. Dead bodies floating Yeah, by. dead no, bodies. Yeah. People spend millions well, and sometimes. millions and millions yeah. of dollars. The sun doesn't even come out till 2 o'clock in the afternoon. And the water's freezing. I was about to say, you, you listed well. all these things. And I was like... That's really not what the problem is. The problem is, the yes, the water's cold. freezing oh, yeah. and uh, there's tar and oil yeah. Yeah. washing up all over yeah. all of our beaches yeah, now. The current, the current kicks everything. Nobody really cares. Like, past all the big beaches. It's Literally, wild. it's happened. So it's like, and I actually stepped into my... Uh, yeah. You can't get that stuff off either. You have that to tar. use Dove. Yeah, Dove, Dove and a, and a, and a, a Brillo pad. pad. I yeah. mean, it is just... It is horrible. So, so yeah. I... I'm like with for you on me, that. dude, no. The crystal clear bathtub water. Florida. That's a beach. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know what I mean, if I... If my job wasn't in LA, I'd probably go back to Florida at this yeah. point. We feel the same. We actually. feel the same. Yeah, we yeah. Same, we, yeah, we've been in Los Angeles for a long time, but we're always talking about getting back at some to point coast. soon. Going, we we will eventually probably end up back east for sure. Yeah. 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 Yep. I don't for blame sure. you. Yeah. No doubt. Anyway, well, thank you so much for sharing yeah. your story. Good story. I really appreciate it. And yeah, checking thanks in. For me. Yes, and uh, we're going to be doing a lot more of these, and our goal is if we're blessed enough to do as many of these as we want to, we're going to check back in with everybody that's called in. So there's a long list, and we're going to do it. Just to check back in and get updates to see how everybody's doing. So that's our goal. Awesome. All right? Yes, we're going to have a, right. yes, a lovers group, which is you know the Brotherly Love Podcast. So it'll be like hashtag lovers, and then we're going to have everybody back. So it'll be really cool. All right? So be well. Awesome. Say hi to your mom and your brother for us, and we'll talk to you again soon. All right? I will. Have All a right, good cool. one. All right. All right. Bye now. See, See you later. later. Bye. 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 So cool. Huh? So cool. That's dude. so funny. Yeah. What's it to you? What's, What's it to you? you? Yeah. Boom. What the F do you know? See, that's a, a crystallization of what we were talking about, which yeah. is that. Finding the humor, she using that lost, to well, help. I mean, she just lost a parent. Yeah. And they go on this trip to sort of just like. Be like, let's see what, what family we can, this new family, you know, like how we're going to do this without dad, you know? And yeah. uh, and they remember the moments. They, yeah. remember, they remember the funny moments. Not all the pain. I'm sure they were going through. I'm sure it was weird. Well, you and remember all of it, but what what really, you know, puts what a smile on your face. Yeah, and what, what is the comedy. What yeah, really you take absolutely. with you is those. Like, I'm going to have one of your mints because you got a, a bowl of mints you just sitting in front of you. And you I, know, well, they're yeah. my mints. They're it's, my mints. It's, it's, it's it travels really with a bowl of they're mints. Do you know what's, it's literally impossible to remain Enraged because you know when you get rage. Oh, oh there yes. we go. Yeah. What? What happened? We have to go. Oh, everybody gets rage. I'll, I'll end. I'll end with. <laughs> oh this. God, here we go. What? I'll we, end with this. Exactly. Everybody gets rage. We've all experienced. We've all either been in our cars and experienced road rage. We've yeah. gotten to those moments. That's you, man. And we but regret yes. them. But you know that You're it the is rage. literally Maniac. it's impossible for your brain to stay in that rage if you laugh. Absolutely. Hitting the table. That's right. That's right. With rage. That's right. That's right. Yeah! That no, that's, that's exactly no, you're right. right. Dude, dude, say that again because that was good. End it on that. Give us a clean sound bite where I'm not oh, interrupting it's, you. It's, it's, it's physically impossible to stay in that moment of rage when you laugh. Exactly right. Literally physically impossible. You know what's another good little trick too? What? That's what I'll end on. What? To change your state of mind if laughing isn't something that you normally go to. Hit a pillow or no. break a dish. Go oh. five, four, three, two, one. Nice. Your brain goes switches from anger into um, I need to do a task. And nice. gets you out of the anger. I like it. And if you need to, you can reverse it. One, two, three, four, five. You can. I'm you can. pissed. I just got angry. I yeah. think that's a, it's I think a counting rule. It, it works for three, everything, two. by the All way. Right, when you done. need to change hey, your mindset. Five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> hey guys, the Lawrence Brothers here to thank you for tuning in and watching this episode of the Brotherly Love Podcast. That's right. And to watch clips from this pod, go to the Podco YouTube channel at the link in the description. And for exclusive weekly bonus content, join our Patreon now. The link is also in the description. And we will see you guys 
next week. Next week. Next week. <laughs>